This one's gonna go big! Okay then, so let's get going with roller coasters because you may as well start near the top and you could make a case for this being certainly one of the best fruit machines ever made, if not the best. You'd have it in your top five, wouldn't you? An interesting machine, this one, because when it first was released, it had the six pound token jackpot and this machine i believe is unique because i can't think of any other machines that have had as many jackpot rom upgrades as roller coaster had because it started with the six pound token jackpot went on got an upgrade to the eight pound token jackpot then got another upgrade to the 10 pound all cash jackpot that's the one that we're looking at here and then it got a further upgrade to 15 pound all cash and as I understand it, these were just ROM upgrades for the original, I think it was called the Vogue cabinet, this JPM cabinet here. I don't think, you know, they weren't uh, rebuilds or re-releases on newer hardware or anything like that. I think the original impact machines in the Vogue cabinet got the, the £15 ROM upgrade. And there was one of them in an arcade here uh, in Douglas until a few years ago when it closed down. And there is still... Believe it or not, a roller coaster on site on a £15 cash jackpot in Ramsey on the Isle of Man. It is, it is in an arcade. You can play it. It's, it's five minutes walk down the road from me. Uh, if you go back on the channel, you'll see a couple of videos of me getting a £28.80 off the uh, Nemesis feature on it. This machine started life as a £6 token jackpot machine way back in the day what 94 something like that maybe when it was released 95 um and i lost a lot of money on it because i didn't know any of the things that there are to know about jpms now uh, cheerful pessimist has talked on his channel a, a lot of the things about jpm so i don't want to sort of do everything again but I will go over the basics because it's kind of relevant to my experience with this machine back in the day when it was released because whilst I'm quite sure that some people were making rude money off this machine, I took several kickings off it. So let's put some cash in. Let's start off with a tenner. Now, first and foremost, the very first thing about JPMs which of course we all know now but um i certainly didn't know at the time and i bet a lot of people didn't know at the time was that jpms do something called numbering now or showing i think is the other word that people use for it rather let them spin uh, i'm going to deliberately biff that up because i want to show you what what the numbering is so that is in normal play here when you're not on the feature so so we're not on the feature board we're just playing and we're not gambling high low and a win when we're just playing normally on the reels here so when and it's, it's as simple as this when the machine has a jackpot in it when when you will be able to get a jackpot out of it in a in a reasonably timely fashion you will see on the high low reel here during normal play the numbers one and now it's going to put me in the feature because it's held three times and we're not seeing it if you see that number uh, one, 1 or 12 on the number reel there during normal play it means that the machine has got a jackpot in it now that doesn't mean it's just going to drop that that could well kill me oh, extra coconut doesn't mean that it's just going to throw a jackpot into your lap it means that if you know what you're doing if you know what the features are you can maybe hit the skills that sort of stuff it means that you can get a jackpot out of it now, if you do not see the numbers 1 to 12 on this reel during normal play, and we're not seeing them here, that means that the machine isn't going to pay a jackpot. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how well you know the features, how good you are at your skills. It means that you are not going to get a jackpot out of it. So back in the day, I've played £5 through here. I had 50 credits, so I played £5 worth of credits, 20p ago. I've put five pounds through it and I haven't seen the number one or 12. So to uh, someone like Cheerful Pessimist back in the day, a, a good player who knew what he was doing, he knows now to walk away from this machine. He's not going to win on this machine. Somebody has already rinsed it. 
Now, I didn't know that. I had no idea. All I saw was £6 jackpot. How bad can it be? I mean, of course, we're playing on the £10 jackpot here, but this originally started with the top wins here were it was £3, £4, £5, £6. So I was thinking, well, how bad can it be? You know, a £6 jackpot. How much money can you lose on, on a machine with a £6 jackpot? And the answer to that question is an awful fucking lot because I remember getting spanked by this machine quite badly many times over and being absolutely mystified at how much money I was able to lose on, on this, this, you know, amusement with prizes machine with a £6 jackpot. So you can see here, we, we, we haven't seen a 1 out of 12 it's not numbering so a, a good player would, would have gone by this point he'd be on to the next pub or the next machine the next arcade whatever he wouldn't be bothering with this because he knows he's not going to win i didn't have that knowledge so i i would just stay playing it i just keep pumping my money into it thinking well it's got to pay something soon surely okay we're on the feature again we haven't seen any ones or 12 so that, that kind of means that whatever i do here it's just gonna it's just gonna kill me off before it offers me anything decent. I mean, knowing what I know, if if you put say a uh, three or four quid and you haven't seen it number, you might just collect log flume here because that can be uh, that can be three pound plus repeat chance and it can repeat. So I'm, I'm into the death zone here. Tin can alley. That isn't again. That's capped at three pounds. All the good stuff on this machine. Test your strength. The waltzers, the nemesis roller coaster are all jackpot or better features. Obviously, you can get jackpots off the. Uh, the higher amounts of nudges and that sort of thing but i am going to be in death alley here there we are yeah not a chance so that was the that was the big thing about jpl that's so a random stop we'll be able to get in off that but i don't think it's going to be any better so that was the first thing about jpms was that was that they numbered and i didn't know that uh, so that there there was a a very big disadvantage right off the bat i didn't know when these machines uh, were not worth playing Doing. there we go the other thing that i didn't know was how jpms uh sort of pay their value or, or hold on to their value because they're very different to uh say may game machines back in the day which would just hold on and sort of set so there we are that's a tenagon not not got a penny off a ten let's put another five or through I've, you know i've lost i've not been watching the number real because i've been too busy yapping i don't know if you've seen a one or a 12 yet um so yeah how jpms did their value because unlike may gaze and sort of maybe bar crest to a slightly lesser extent uh, which is on no it's yeah, that not real okay um bar crest and sort of the aces you know the old play agains and twilight zones you know these machines would save over time for, for a streak and if you just happen to be playing them when when you know the street pot was was active you could win a fair wedge of cash that way jpms didn't work like that they didn't save for a streak at any given time really and again i didn't know this at the time um i only know it now or well, i'll find out later on rather um that at any given time a good player can take the value that they have in them out of them so it, you don't need to sort of activate the street pot or you're not going to win anything decent you can just if you're a good player and you know what you're doing you can take all the value that the machine has in it and because there isn't a traditional street pot as such you don't necessarily have to get off it i'm gonna die here i think yeah there we are you don't particularly have to get off it at any time so i mean I, I do remember back in the day that i would get onto a roller coaster and it was in, in a reasonable mood and maybe i'd get two or three jackpots out of it and think oh well it, it's not going to pay anymore i need to get off it because i didn't understand how with a jpm you can take a jackpot or take a high feature get a decent win and as long as it's still numbering you, you can carry on playing it and get more jackpots out of it which was okay so for a six pound win that suggests that I still haven't seen a, I still haven't seen a 1 or a 12. Well, I think I'm going to die here. Last ride, brilliant. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't know when to play it or when not to play it. And I didn't know that, you know, that there wasn't necessarily an obvious time to get off it because as long as it was numbering, you, you could play on and get more wins out of the machine. And that, that was the case with me on roller coaster, certainly for the six pound jackpot, eight pound jackpot and ten pound jackpot i didn't lose on it all the time because obviously sometimes you just get lucky but like i said i do remember taking some pretty no so it's getting a little bit happy now obviously you know really you'd collect the six quid there but let's just push on and see maybe i'll win that 
Well, there we are. So, I think it actually let me have that. Did Was it showing a 1 or a 12? I don't think I saw it number. So, I've taken a single jackpot out there, and what you can... I, I, be surprised if it was numbering but we'll see Let, let's see if it's uh, going to be numbering when i carry on so but yeah the, the point is for for you, know, you go back to 90 i think it was 95 this machine came out if you go back to 1995 uh, fruit machines were everywhere fruit machines are more popular than they are now they were getting a lot of play and i'm sure that there were a lot of players who who did very well out of these machines back in the day but uh, i was generally speaking not one of them i was just chance in my arm and often not doing very well out of it so i'm actually quite surprised it let me have that jackpot there because i i don't think we've seen a single one or a 12. um and then finally of course in the 15 pound era we did have a, a 15 pound jackpot one of these in in douglas in an arcade and that was by the time that i knew about numbering and i knew about how jpms did their value and all that sort of thing so i was able to have some pretty good sessions on that and this was a this was a bonkers machine on a 15 pound jackpot um and I, I think you could almost argue that it did sort of save up for a streak i'm not quite sure about that but i remember having some mad runs on it but 90 quid or 105 quid could it go on a run for it was some crazy amount for a for a 15 pound jackpot machine um and i think thinking about it the one that's in the arcade in ramsey is not on a 15 pound jackpot it's on a 10 pound cash jackpot because i believe that that does the 2880 off nemesis so that's yeah that that would be right that would be right so the one in that we've got in ramsey has a 10 pound cash jackpot but we did oh well I should have just wedged that then. I hit it anyway. Because uh, when on the skills top, if you just uh, if you just wedge it, it just goes one one square forward. But we definitely had this on a fifteen pound cash jackpot in an arcade in Douglas. That arcade closed down many years ago now, but I was able to play that a few times. You know, knowing what I was doing. So if it wasn't if it wasn't showing me a one or a twelve within you know three, four, five pounds worth of credits at the most, you just walk away and come back and play it another day get a jackpot off any of these features up here or better than a jackpot just play another few credits through a couple two three pounds see if it's numbering so that they're, they're really fair there we are test your strength is a jackpot feature will it let me have it no it won't so if i'm not mistaken we haven't actually seen a single one or a 12 i'm not quite sure where that ja jack but oh, i should have held that down idiot can't talk and play at the same i can't multitask so that's that's basically about it for roller coaster i think and and, and that kind of holds true really for an awful lot of jpms of this era they're they're kind of the same thing you play them oh look at that just filled up coconut shine landed on right over at the same time yeah, you play a few credits through you see if they're numbering and if they're numbering you play on and then you you just uh, why did i do that you just try and take the the value out of them by by any means you don't force out the top feature or anything like that anytime it offers you a jackpot just take it you know, jackpot feature, take it however you can. Oh, random stop, that'll put me in. Uh, rinse, rin, rinse, wash, repeat. That's about the size of it, really. Let's just see what this feature does. But yeah, I did say at the end of the last video that, that I... Let's see if it will let me win this. I'm, hmm, let's... <laughs> now, that, that's the way you would say that you would expect that because we haven't seen it numbering and that means it, it's not going to let you have a jackpot feature. But yeah, I did say at the end of the last video, sorry, that, that I would uh, do a video about a machine that, that I took some damage from back in the day. Uh, I do remember, it's amazing how you remember these things, isn't it? Let's just go back to, it was in the Lord Raglan in Radcliffe. Now, it's not a pub anymore. Google Maps uh, shows that, that it was that building there. That that was one of the first pubs I, I was, was able to get into when I could still get served when I was, you know, sort of 16, 17. Um... I do remember them having a roller coaster in there. Probably would have been 95, 96. Um, it was in that bar there. And I, I remember losing 30, 40 quid on it. Something like that. 30, 40, 50 quid. It was all the money I had. And back then, you know, over 20 years ago, you know, 40 quid, that was enough money for a decent night out. And I just lost the lot and I just had to go home. And, and it was on a six pound jackpot roller coaster. And I was just mystified at how it could play. 
so badly for so long. Why was it taking all my money off me? You know, keep going back to the bar to get pound coins. You know, the, the walk of shame. Oh, pound coins, please. You buy another drink. I can't have the change in pound coins, please. You feel like a total div because, you know, you're losing all your money and your night over is going to be over in about 40 minutes and you're going to go home and look like a twat. But that kind of thing, you know. Obviously, I'm over all that now, as you can tell by the tone of my voice. So, it's it's a great machine, e even despite all that. Um, as an AWP, as amusement with prizes, it is a really good machine. Um it works well with these smaller jackpots and I, I play the one in the arcade here on, on the £10 jackpot. I'll go down there once in a while and play it. Not really. To, I mean, obviously, I, I will. I do try and win on it. I'm trying to make money, but, you know, you know I'm, I'm not really there particularly for, to make big piles of cash. It's just an enjoyable machine to play and it's a really good example of how fruit machines work well with these, these smaller jackpots and I think it gives us some direction as to why the things are so incredibly unpopular now and dying on their asses because there's there's just no entertainment in them anymore. There's, there's no amusement for, for a casual player when, when they can rip through 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds in the, in the speed that they can these days. But I think it's worth bearing in mind that even back in the day on these smaller jackpots, you, you could lose a lot of money and, and, you know, 40, 50 quid back in 1995 if, if you didn't have a lot of money and you know you weren't earning a lot of money in your job or whatever that that, that could be a lot of money and that that could be your night out ruined or your weekend ruined uh we can see now it is starting so there we are we're starting to see now these ones and twelves i'm not sure how long it's been spinning them in because i'm too busy getting annoyed about things oh now you can see there it's numbering regularly so what we'll try and do now now that doesn't mean it just means it's got a jackpot in it that you know if you, if you know what you're doing and you play it right you can get a jackpot it doesn't mean it's just gonna go straight up to roller coaster on the next feature or something like that you, st you still need to be able to take your opportunities and know what you're doing so what we'll do is is just see it out for one more feature and see or well we'll see it out till we get for a, a jackpot it really is it's just, all of a sudden it's just started numbering like crazy now it's like every every spin pretty much is one or a 12. so so that'll be in top tip if you hold down cancel you can slow it down bet bet the guys from jackpot you're writing that down hold down cancel slow it down never knew that right let's see where we can get to on this do i need to go i don't think there's any need to go lower on that let's have a look so what where's that so what we're after here i, nem I quite like nemesis nemesis loves <sighs> where's that going oh see you'd click that you'd click that because and this is the point with JPMs that it will happily kill me now on either of those question marks getting to roller coaster. A roller coaster may not go past a tenner anyway. And if it's got another jackpot in it, so let's let's do it correct. Let's collect the ten pound off the jackpot. And if it's got another jackpot in it, it should carry on numbering, and I can just get the next ja jackpot out by another means rather than risking it killing me, sort of forcing it out. Because by going for roller coaster there instead of collecting the jackpot of 99 nudges i would effectively be forcing it which, which um was not the way to do these machines so all you do now is just look at your number reel and we can see there it, it spun a 12 straight in so it should in theory now put me back on the feature fairly quickly and hopefully doesn't won't necessarily do it on the very next board but it shouldn't be too far away from another jackpot opportunity Christ, it's making hard work again these last two. Not, oh, come on. Really, we, we're doing this, are we? This, this is how you... Uh, come on. Oh, it could actually not give it off choose trail. <laughs> there we are. That would have been very annoying, wouldn't it? So let's see. Let's see if it's got uh, another jackpot in it here. We, you basically just... I'll oh, wedge it there, so I'll just land on ghost train. Anything from test your strength upwards, really. Oh. Oh. So, oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we... Uh, Let's see if we can get this right. Should be easy enough if, if I miss this. You know, if I miss this, I might not upload the video. I'll be too ashamed. Ah, oh dear. But holding down cancel slowly. There's no excuse, really, for... I'll, I'll hit it first time up and be brave. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be absolutely no excuse on earth for missing that one with the slowdown. Wow.
Okay, there we go. And you can now do the same again. You can just... Oh, wait, I forgot, of course. It's, yeah, that's a shame. It's got a repeat chance. And now we just look down to that high-low reel and see if we're still seeing any 1s or 12s. I don't, I don't know how... I never quite knew. I've got to be honest. I never quite knew how how much you were supposed to give it. I, I usually worked off, I think, about four quid. Five pounds at the at the absolute maximum was how much I'd give it before. If I didn't see a one or a 12, I'd, I'd walk away. Now, I haven't seen... Oh, fuck it. Yeah. I haven't seen a one or a 12 here, so it may well be that those two jackpots are all it had in it. And it was in a pretty bad mood to start with. I may have spanked this the last time I played it, because... Uh, I can't remember how it was playing the last time I played this layout. So I think that's probably now. You'd say, if, if you were playing this sensibly, you'd say that was enough. Hasn't got any more in it. And let's have a look at my uh, my stats for the session. I have lost. Now, you've got to remember, of course, it was in a bad mood to start with. It wasn't numbering. And in, in real life, you'd have walked away after four or five quid. But I was kind of... So showing you that the way that I would have played this back in the day, I would have had no idea. I would have just ploughed blindly on and, you know, kind of lost all my money. The other thing that needs to be mentioned here is that this is set. Can we see it in there? Um, no, it actually, yeah, there, there, sorry. This is set to a very generous 92% payout. In reality, these things were set to 74, 76, 78% in the pubs. Maybe a little bit more that in in the arcades, but generally speaking, you'd be paying playing these in the mid to high seventy percent. So you do get a more generous experience in the emulators, and it makes sense in the emulators because fruit machines, once they're down on the seventy percent, they're a pretty miserable experience to to play. Certainly more for for the fun and the entertainment side of things, which is kind of what you want in the emulator. But it does mean that you have a kinder experience than you would have got and i think that you know out in the wild that machine would have probably done more damage before it um before it allowed me to get those couple of jackpots back we're not seeing we're just not seeing any ones or twelves here so i would say that that's about it for roller coaster um a machine that had an awful lot of money out of me back in the day despite the odd good session and it was only in the 15 pound we'll have one last feature only in the 15 pound era that I, I got some cash back out of it. And of course that one that's still in the arcade down the road. Uh, just have a look back on a couple of videos. And you can see me getting the uh, 2880. A couple of times. Now what you'd actually do here is collect Log Flume. Because this can do £3 plus repeat chance. If you can get everything filled up. Come on you fucker. Oh no I missed the 80p. That's quite bad isn't it. £2.20. I think I can put a token in with this layout. Let's see if we get real. I'm going to have to put a credit in for a repeat. Nope. So that's it. That is roller coaster done on that little session there. Let's just change my in out stats. I lost six pound forty, which isn't too bad considering what a foul mood it was to start with. But again, I think I'm being flattered a little bit by the uh, ninety-two percent payout. Well, there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one and got a few ideas for for machines I'd like to do going forward. So there will be more videos coming uh, in the not too distant future. See you next time. Will it do the 2880? Let's find out. Just going to wedge the buttons the whole way. First credit break will come after the £3 win, which is now. So it's going to have to take a credit to go on to £4. Good. So I think it should win this one now, for the six quid. Yeah, he looks looking good, looking good. Lower than in the 11 for the 28.80. Let's have that, wedgie, wedgie. Come on, you fucker. Don't you dare lose. Oh. Is this the best fruit machine ever? I think it may be. 
that'll do. Got that on the last visit as well. 2880 Nemesis. Thank you very much, Roller Coaster. We love you.